model the data in the table with the linear equation in slope-intercept form, then tell what the slope and the y-intercept represent. So let's find our slope first from our table. So our rate of change here from 2 to 3 is 1, and our rate of change here from 3 to 5 is 2. Our rate of change from 56 to 44 is negative 12, and our rate of change here from 44 to 20 is negative 24. Now looking at this, you might say there is no constant rate of change, but what we have to see is, is that rise over the run the same? So our slope, negative 12 over 1, is that equal to negative 24 over 2? And yes, it is. So our slope is negative 12. Now remember, we can use point slope form using any point on this um, table. So I'm going to use this point, 5 and 20, because that's going to be a nice, easy um, point to play around with. So this is going to be my x1 and my y1. So point slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That's going to be y minus 20 equals negative 12 x minus 5. But remember, the equation asked for it in slope-intercept form. But we can quickly convert this to slope-intercept form by solving for y. I'll distribute this first. y minus 20 equals negative 12x plus 60. And then I will add 20 to both sides. And we have y equals negative 12x plus 80. So we can see that our slope is negative 12. And that is our rate of change. So the volume of the paint is decreasing by 12 gallons per day. And we know our y-intercept is 80. So that means at x equals 0 days, there are 80 gallons of paint.